name is Haley Tomlin and I'm from the Mount Aerosmith Biosphere Region Research Institute, also known as MAVRI. MAVRI is a research institute associated with Vancouver Island University based out of Nanaimo, British Columbia. MAVRI focuses on research and community engagement initiatives primarily in the UNESCO designated Mount Aerosmith Biosphere Region. But in order to uphold VIU's research academic plan, we also conduct projects across Vancouver Island. One of our projects is the Forage Fish Spawning Habitat Monitoring Project. Forage fish refers to a group of small schooling fishes which are a critical component of the marine ecosystem and fisheries. Forage fish play a significant role in the local marine food web transferring energy from the lower trophic levels to the higher trophic levels. There are multiple species of forage fish along the British Columbia coast, but we are focused on Pacific sandlands and surf smelt. Forage fish are remarkably influential in the overall health and productivity of the local marine ecosystem as they act as prey to an extensive list of predator species. In particular, Pacific sandlands are prey to nearly 100 local species and are important species to maintain. This project began in late 2017 but really began to expand in 2018 when we started involving local citizen scientists in the sample collection process. Originally, our efforts were focused in the Mount Aerosmith Biosphere region, South Tananaimo, and encompassed two Gulf Islands, Gabriola and Thetis. Over time and with further funding, the research team was able to expand our sampling efforts to extend from Cowichan Bay to Deep Bay and encompass three Gulf Islands, involving Pender Island volunteers in 2020. This project has numerous partners within our region as well as outside, working towards a similar goal of reducing data gaps regarding where and when forage fish are spawning along our coast. Within our region, we have eight citizen science groups that collect the bulk of the sediment samples that we look at. By involving these citizen science groups, we are able to cover a much larger area simultaneously, providing us with a better idea of these fish's behavior geographically and temporally. The sample collection process is simple, allowing anyone who is interested to take part, regardless of your background. All citizen scientists are trained by our MAVRI team to collect the necessary data on site and collect the 4 liter sediment sample. The samples are then processed down using what is called the vortex method and the final sediment sample is handed over to MABRI and our student research assistants to sift through under a microscope and identify if there are any Pacific sandlands or surf smelt embryos. These samples are collected each month in order to capture exactly when and where these forage fish are spawning. All data that is collected is housed in the Pacific Salmon Foundation Strait of Georgia Data Center, an open access database, meaning that anyone can access the data, making it transparent to the public as well as those that generate policies. Ultimately, the goal of this project is to identify stretches of coastline that are critical habitat for these fish and work with our partners to ensure that they are preserved. By gathering long-term data, we will be able to provide strong evidence to protect these beaches and the fish that utilize them. We're excited to see the project continue to grow, involve more organizations and local citizen scientists to see how many spawning beaches we can find along the Vancouver Island and Gulf Island coastlines. If you're interested in taking part in this project, please visit our website for more details on how to get involved.